Now, there's obviously lots of examples of this that we could go through just to give you a handful. We could start anywhere on this screen, really, but let's go Tesco and, and basically every supermarket now has a self-service checkout or a way of doing that, whether it's a self-scan or similar, sign up to their points cards, your transacting data with them constantly about what you're buying, when you shop, how often, how much you spend. They're using that data to effectively market to you through their point systems. It also allows them to be more efficient in that they need less staff manning tools and you to be more efficient that you don't always have to wait in line as long if you've only won one or two items. All of the others, Booking.com, Airbnb, Deliveroo, Just Eat, all about transacting that data back and forth. Tide you may not have come across, that's a a bank for businesses it's actually the one i use but very very simple to set up so much easier than any of the traditional banks kfc and mcdonald's you now go in those you're looking at touch screen you're selecting your food from a touch screen menu you're not having to go to someone at the desk so again efficiencies for them over having less people having to man the tills and likewise efficiencies for you in not having to stand in queues you just go straight to the screen order the food you want and then you can take a seat and wait for it to be delivered Ringo 2, remove the need for taking cash into car parks, having to find £3 in £1 coins before you go out, and just made that quite simple. And then the two big ones really are the airlines. So if again, if you go back in time, you've probably gone into a travel agent, you've booked your holiday, you get a ticket sent to you in the post, you then went to the airport, you handed the ticket in with your passport, you got a boarding card printed, given to you, and off you went. EasyJet kind of came along and broke that mould where you booked your flight online and your boarding card was sent to you. So you were sat at home and actually quite delighted to print your own tickets, your own boarding cards for those flights. And actually very few people moaned about that. But EasyJet had obviously managed to give you a service that made you want to go out and print your own tickets, use your own ink, your own paper, rather than them having to do it. So massive efficiencies for them. They've now gone one step further, both EasyJet and British Airways. And most airlines now where actually it's just an app on your phone. You make the booking, you get the code, you add it to your phone, and it gives you a boarding card, which you can hold in your Google Android wallets or anything like that. So it's, it's just all about how they've not only made themselves more efficient, but they've made it more efficient for the customer too. And that's really where you're trying to get to with these efficiencies. So in all cases of this, they've basically got the customer to do nearly all of the work for themselves in a way that's made them quite happy to be able to do it themselves and in a way that they believe is more efficient for them. I mean, who'd have thought you'd go to a supermarket and be quite happy to do your own shopping, scan your own shopping, pack your own shopping and go back. You, you don't really have to talk to anyone within these stores anymore. EasyJet Airways, the, the, the same kind of model just keeps reiterating. And it's all about how they're collecting and moving data from you to them and back to them again. And the efficiencies that, that this has really given you.